Hey guys, what's up? This is Starla Pearson slash Starla Simmons. I'm going to talk to you about a thing that happened last night and it's because I've been through it, you know what I mean? Like I've been through cancer, so um for anybody that is struggling through cancer that is um has battled cancer and beat it or is battling cancer, I hope that you survive and I pray for you every fucking day. And, um, last night I had something happen to me and it was, you know, like, I just beat cancer like a year or a year and a half ago. And I just wanted to put it out there that, um, if anybody thinks that cancer is funny or it's a joke or something like that, it isn't because people die every day because of it. And it's a real painful death too. It's not something you want to go through. I should know and nobody's gonna know what I went through because unless you've had cancer like I did you won't know how it felt so some people won't have any mercy or any be ignorant about it because they haven't been through it but it's a really bad it's a bad experience and um anyways last night um there's a commercial you know the cancer commercials of little kids and i was at children's i was in i was at the aurora Chil uh, children's hospital when i had my cancer and every night i would sit there and i'm trying not to cry here every night i'd fucking sit there in my bed bedside or in my bed and fucking hear kids crying because they're in pain and fucking killed me because I wish the pain that they had would come to me and just leave the kid alone because they just barely started their lives and you know they may lose a battle to cancer and they might lose their battle to cancer you know what I mean and I saw that video and it fucked me up like I was emotionally depressed because I had been through it and I feel so sorry I feel so sorry for the people that have to go through it and hold up guys try not to cry dude like look at my eyes but I feel sorry for the kids that have to go through it every day and struggle and the parents that have to be there for their kid to see them in that pain of cancer you know what I mean and I, at the time when I had my cancer, I think they made me sick on purpose. I don't know. I uh, found my real mom and dad last year or two years ago. And my dad had cancer the same, the same time I had cancer. My dad had the same cancer. And I know it's hereditary. And I know I don't want to pass it on to my kids. So I don't even know if I'm going to have kids. But it kills me to see little kids out here, little babies. Like, I had, one time I was in the children's hospital, and I was in inpatient in the hospital. And I heard sirens go off in the hallway. And I said, a uh, nurse comes in and I says, what's going on? What's going on? Like, is, is that person okay? And she says, no, there's a baby that went to the um, NICU. So... I cried, I cried because the baby, the baby just started his fucking life, are you serious? Fucking tears me up, dude, and it will always tear me up, it will fucking tear me up because those kids don't deserve that, ain't nobody deserve to go through pain and die of cancer and pain, you know what I mean, and cancer's just fucking pain, bro. And for anybody that disrespects cancer or tells somebody, I had somebody on my Facebook, which she blocked me, told me that, oh, I hope that you die of cancer the second round. When she knew I had cancer, she don't know me very well, but she knew I had cancer. I had had cancer, you know what I mean? So for her to say that Alicia battled, that was a fucked up part on your, your end. And I'm going to show you who this female is because I still have her messages I still have her fucking messages
But she didn't tell me that in this female right here. See where the head is? That female right there was the one that told me, I hope you die of cancer the second time around. And I have a whole bunch of friends that defended me in it. So they know what happened and what the fuck she said. But, um, I just hope that anybody that has cancer, just be strong. And for anybody that has a family member that's going through it and you have to see them in pain every day in the hospital, just be strong and hope they'll get better and that's all you can do and leave it up to God you know what I mean but I just wanted to bring this out here because people be making fun of cancer or making jokes about cancer it isn't something to joke about and uh, the people making fun of cancer and joking about it will never know what it's like because they didn't go through it like I did or people that have gone through cancer so please if you like this video please like Subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys later with some other stuff, and oh, I wanted to show you guys, this was on 3-11-2016, this is my children's paper, and it says right here, problems at bra at br address today, acute lymphomic leukemia, so there you guys go, and that was, I do my um, treatments every three months. So I have to go back in August. This was back in uh, 3-11, so 3-11, January, February, March. This was in March, but um, I just wanted you guys to know that this is real, and um, I will show my other shit on here. And just so you guys know, this is allergies right here. Um, asparaginase is the kind of chemo you get with leukemia. Um, when I was battling my cancer and I was allergic to it and I ended up getting pancreatitis and now I have diabetes for life because of it. And Curad is a band-aid. So it's a band-aid that I'm allergic to. So I can't have those. And these are all, all down here. Those are all my medications and stuff that I take. And, um, Christine M. Eisman is my doctor for, at Children's. Um, I had it for two years. But I just wanted to bring this out here because I know there's people battling cancer every day. And I hope anybody that's battling cancer, I hope you beat it. And I hope you be successful. And I hope everything that you wished comes true and I hope that the people that battle cancer like I have and got beat it I hope you're strong and it made you a better person for you going through that because it made me a better person but anyways guys I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video like subscribe and tell me what other kind of videos I can make for you guys I love you guys and stay blessed.